Hey YouTube, it's Afro Neek, and I'm here to show you how you can make a dramatic change to your lock style without doing something drastic to your lock. really special about how I'm wearing my hair. It's just kind of in a messy chignon. But that accent color I think really makes the style pop and makes it interesting. So if you want to see how I added the color, you got to keep it locked. Alright, so what you're going to need to complete this look is floss. Now I know what you're thinking. Hey, I'm just talking about embroidery floss. You can find it in Michael's and Joann's and your like your knitting needle section, yarn section, sewing section. And if you want the exact color that I got, the color red, which is number 325. Alright, so just pull out some of your thread to start with. You don't want to cut off a certain length since you don't know how much you're going to need. And then to attach it to your the base of your lock, all you're going to do is take it and just do a knot around your lock. And I can't do it on camera, so I'll do it and I'll come back. Okay, so I have my knot now. And so what I'll do is just take the extra strands from the, the short end and just kind of hold it against my lock as I begin to wrap. Now, as you can imagine, this is pretty time-consuming, um, and that's why um, I only do it to one lock, so make sure you pick a really good spot um, to put it in that's going to look really good with your style. And then, um, if you don't have the patience to go through the whole um, lock with it, what you can also do is just do a section of the lock. Um, you could just do maybe like the very top of the lock. And then the way you pull your hair back kind of hides the fact that the very end of it doesn't have the color on it. Or you can do like um, the bottom of the lock, depending on what kind of style you're trying to do. So just kind of play around with it if you want to do it that way. So what I'll do is I'll actually continue wrapping the lock and then I'll come back once I'm down to the end. And then I also wanted to tell you, you could use yarn, which would go faster. But the reason I chose to use more of a thread is just because I wanted more of a little bit of a natural look. Okay, so I've twisted it down as far as I can. And then what I'm going to do is tie a knot at the end. Then once you have your knot, you can cut off the excess. Okay, so due to the fact that my ends are still curly, my end of mine looks a little weird. If your ends are closed, um, I think yours will look a lot better. And then also due to the fact that I don't palm roll, I latch my hair instead. I have a lot of kind of sections where you can kind of see black in between it and that's just kind of my um, my strands that stick outside of my lock. Um, it was kind of hard to go through and really be able to cover each one of those up since they're not, you know, as close to the lock. 
Um, but since I'm not going to like just wear my hair like down with it, then it makes it perfectly okay because it has kind of the other strands that will kind of fold over some parts of it and then putting it back in a style, you don't really notice all those little imperfections with it. So I think um, doing um, this method is really good, you know, for enhancing your styles and it's not, um, not that wearing your hair down isn't a style, but I think it's more so um, with wearing your hair up in some kind of way. Now to remove this on loose ends, what I did is to actually go up and snip a piece of the thread instead of cutting off the knot. And then what you can do is unravel from the part that you snipped down to the knot. So you don't have to cut off your, your loose ends. And then from that point you can unravel a little bit and then eventually you can just kind of pull 